Hi guys, Squirrel here, and in this video I'm going to review American Truck Simulator, the much-hyped successor to the smash hit European Truck Simulator. So what is American Truck Simulator? Well, American Truck Simulator, otherwise known as ATS, is a trucking game where you drive trucks across the United States hauling goods for fun and profit whilst building your trucking empire. You start off with no money and no truck of your own, you run jobs in other people's trucks before you save up or take a loan to buy your very first truck. You start with a Morris Garage and your goal is to build a trucking empire. You do this in various ways. You can take profitable jobs, which give you money and experience, that levels you up, unlocks driver skills, which in turn allow you to transport different trailer types such as hazardous, fragile and timely deliveries for extra profit. Using the built-in sat-nav, you plot your route across the map to deliver your cargo. You discover new cities, recruitment agencies and truck dealers along the way. If you get your trailer there undamaged and on time, you'll be rewarded with money and XP. But if you arrive late or damage the goods, you'll be penalised. Once you own your own truck, you'll be responsible for any repairs and for purchasing your own fuel. Whilst driving, you may receive fines. You'll get fines for speeding from mobile cops and stationary cops on the side of the road, for refusing to pull in at a weighing station when requested, if you have a collision with other vehicles, or even if you go through a red light, although turning right on red is supported as it's done in most states in America. Later, you'll want to hire truck drivers and purchase trucks for them to drive. That will bring you extra profit. They will each level with their own skill set, and as they scale up, the profit margin will increase over time. As you hire more drivers, you will need to purchase newer and bigger garages. This is usually a garage in each city, but you'll have to discover it first. Finally, you can customise your truck for added wow factor with various accessories and paint skins. You can also choose the engine, the transmission, the chassis layout, and you can create a truck suitable for hauling greater loads. Currently, driving is restricted to California and Nevada, but Arizona is on its way and that will be a free DLC. Still, there are thousands of miles of pretty beautiful and detailed scenery to discover in American Truck Simulator on release. So what equipment do you need to play it? Well, you're going to need a PC, you're going to need Windows 64-bit, it does not support 32-bit, You'll need a minimum of an Intel HD 4000 graphics card, 4GB of RAM, a dual-core CPU at running at 2.4GHz and about 3GB of hard disk space. That is an absolute minimum. Anything better and you'll be able to crank up the graphics options and make the game look progressively more beautiful. In terms of controls, you're going to need a keyboard and a mouse at a minimum, although it does have really good controller support such as you can use an Xbox One controller, you can use a joystick, recommended way of playing is a steering wheel. Logitech, G27, G29 or G920 or any other well-known steering wheel brand should work with American Truck Simulator. It also supports Truck IR head tra headset tracking and the Oculus Rift. Now ATS is a successor, a spiritual successor to ETS2 which is European Truck Simulator. Fundamentally they're the same game, the graphics engine is shared with a European Truck Simulator as are most of the game mechanics. This is good and bad. On the one hand, players of European Truck Simulator will feel right at home in American Truck Simulator and can quickly enjoy trucking in the States. Mod support is almost identical in ATS and ETS2 and mod authors can easily port their mods over from ETS onto ATS. On the other hand, ATS also suffers from the same issues as its predecessor. For example, poor aliasing on graphics even on high-end graphics cards. This is a restriction of the graphics engine, which still has no DirectX 11 support. Then there's the notorious AI, trolling you at every opportunity when you attempt to change lane, turn at a junction, or even use part of a road to reverse a trailer into a delivery point. Now obviously ATS is set in the United States rather than Europe, and it means it does bring some uniqueness which sets it apart from ETS2. For example, on launch there are two trucks that you can drive, the Kenworth T680 and the Peterbilt 579, 
although other trucks are understood to be on the way, but due to licensing restrictions, currently they can't put them in the game. You've got weighing stations. Weighing stations are unique to American Truck Simulator. If requested, you have to pull in and have your delivery weighed. You can turn right on red. There are various trailer parking difficulties. You'll be able to choose between skipping trailer parking, going for simple, or going for quite a challenging trailer park for extra XP. The general look of the game is pretty good. Nevada really feels open and expansive. Vegas feels glittery. Los Angeles beachfront looks like something out of GTA. It really does capture the spirit of America. So why should you buy this game? What is the appeal? Well, like its predecessor, it's a very relaxing game. You drive big trucks across America, all whilst tuning into a local American radio station which is built into the game. Even with all its failings, the AI vehicles do a pretty good job at keeping you company whilst you drive, and the variety of, of vehicles in the game is pretty authentic and unique. With unofficial mod support, the game can be extended, the map can be increased, different trucks can be driven, even the weather and texturing can be altered with mods. Euro Truck has thousands of mods, there's no reason to think that American Truck will not do the same, thus increasing the playability and longevity of the game. The current price point of $20 or €20 Euros is actually very competitive for this game, even though it is a successor to European Truck Simulator, it also brings quite a bit of uniqueness, and the detail in the maps is fantastic. So what's the future of American Truck Simulator? Well, more trucks are on the way as soon as licensing allows, the Arizona Free State DLC is coming soon after launch, more states are going to be available for purchase at a later date. Future expansion of the gaming world, starting with Arizona as official DLC is one thing, but you can bet there'll be non-official DLC which will expand the world, maybe even into Canada, Alaska, Mexico, South America, and certainly we're going to see mod map support taking us all the way over to the East Coast, so we can all do the infamous Route 66 run. World of Trucks integration is on its way, along with the ability to take online jobs directly from inside the game. Now one of the biggest letdowns of both European and American Truck Simulator is that you can't get out of your vehicle and walk around. This has still not been addressed. You can't pull up a fuel station and walk inside, you can't pull up outside of a diner and swagger in like a real trucker then order your breakfast. Maybe we'll see this one day, until then we can only dream. If you like what you've seen in this video and you're thinking about getting an American Truck Simulator, then check out my Trucking School series of videos. They will teach you everything you need to know to get you hauling effectively. Or, if you want to see more gameplay before you make a decision, why not check out my Trucking Diaries series where I play full career mode from the start. Links to both series are available in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please give me a like if you did. Until next time, take care and happy trucking.